Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here again, aka J Toolman 1949. And here I have my shop made milling machine that I made from Teg Micro Lathe parts. Basically, you don't see it here, but if you look at my previous video where I actually went through the actual mill and the components that it contained, this is a Teg Micro Lathe headstock. It runs off of a six step pulley running off of a variable speed motor also with a corresponding TEG 6 step pulley. The bottom is a 5 by 12 XY table that I bought from Enco many 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 years ago. In fact I had this on my drill press when I was using it for milling with which I actually made this milling machine. I have a 3 part 12 hour marathon three-part DVD where I go through every step that I went through to manufacture this basic milling machine at home and it works and operates just like any other mini mill you may you know pay six hundred eight hundred dollars for so let's go ahead I have it kissing the work now my headstock will travel fifty thousandths of an inch with every revolution of these lead screw so I'm going to go ahead and move my workpiece beyond the cutter. I'm going to lower the headstock about a quarter turn and I will lock it in place and I will start my motor. I'm just going to take you through the motion. Somebody asked that they wanted to see this thing operating. I said well let's go ahead and make a video for it. So here we are. I'm not going to go all the way across because it's just no point. I don't want to waste your time. I'm going to go ahead and advance. I actually have my travel lock set for this distance. When I finish, I will then make a Y pass and square off all of those little round scallop areas there. And then I'll show you the uh, finished job. I'm using tag armors. Basically, you buy them as blanks for just a few dollars per blank and you machine them. They're already pre-threaded, 3 quarter 16 spindle, inner, inner thread on them to fit any 3 quarter 16 spindle machine such as Shareline and of course Tag. Okay now I'm going to go ahead and come across and clear off those little scallop that my mill created. And I'll come back and do a quick, very quick pass. Sometimes small machines like these will tend to flex. And so this will even out any kind of uh, little raised areas that you may end up with. And that's just the, you know, that's the nature of the beast. This is what happens when you use a very lightweight machine. Now granted I only took off maybe 15 thousandths. Alright, let me go ahead and clean up and give you a close-up shot. Okay, and here's the finished result. It is smooth as silk. I do not feel any ridges anywhere, either in this direction or in that direction. I'm using a four-fluted end mill. It's a I believe it's a 3 8 inch diameter. Again, I'm using one of these arbors that I showed you on one of my previous videos. I make a lot of these and I custom build them or fabricate them to fit whatever need I might have. In the middle of a project, I might need to create a special arbor. So I use these little blanks 
they basically look like this. They come pre-threaded and you just drill them out to whatever diameter you need on the TIG. Of course you can just attach this directly to the spindle, no chuck needed, and then machine them in place. And this will ensure super, super accurate concentricity because it's actually being screwed to the spindle. There's a tapered little step right here that actually seats against the matching taper on the spindle. So that gives you a very, very accurate seating of these little pre-made arbors. And again, like I said, you buy them for three, four dollars. I, I don't know what, what they are now. The, it's been many, many years since I buy these. But TEG is still in business and you can actually get these and use them for many other purposes, not just using them on a home shop made uh, milling machine such as mine. Of course, any kind of attachment could be fitted to one of these arbors. Here is a fly cutter. You can use this for um, facing off or squaring off rough cut metal before you begin to lay out your mark. And here is one that I made to hold a slitting saw. And again, these will all fit this machine. And so you can make drill arbors, you can make, in fact, there is a drill arbor available through the company already made for you. So, but you can make your own. I mean, to fit whatever situation you have. And in this particular mill, I have actually all, almost eight inches of clearance between when I bring it to the highest position. And this is one of these um, cheap Sears vices. They're made for drilling, basically. And so with a piece of work such as this, which is one inch square stock, you have about eight inches of, clear, of clearance, which is quite a bit, quite a bit of a Z-axis clearance. All right, so... If you like this, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get this fledgling channel going here, so getting there, but it's slow work. If you have any comments, please leave them on the section below. And so until the next time, happy machining. Bye-bye.